How's it going everyone? I'm Immature Gamer. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I built my automatic loadout randomizer, so I thought I'd make this video. I first introduced this automatic loadout randomizer in my ultimate realistic 1v1 arena video. If you haven't seen it, I'll put an icon link in the top right of your screen. Make sure you check that video out first so you understand what I'm talking about. Let's just get into it. Alright, first things first, you guys are going to want to make a base pick whatever kind of mats you want to use it doesn't really matter you're going to be putting spawn pads down and item pads down and then we're going to be putting ice on top of those so it really doesn't matter you're not going to see these mats choose your spawn pad after you place it edit it put your priority group to primary and island start off that's going to vary depending on what you got going on your map if you've made a island pre-game lobby um, you're gonna want to adjust that next up grab your item spawners I chose to show you guys just five item spawners you guys can use as many as you want you can even add more for materials so each player could spawn in with random amounts of materials or random amounts of ammo so you know, the possibilities are endless now this is kind of an important step make sure you mimic these settings you don't have to pick the exact settings like I have but just make sure time before first spawn is set to one second that's very important and then I make time between spawns five minutes just because when you're in the game playing after like a minute or two you don't want to hear a bunch of item spawns so that's why I did that the next important thing you do is click run over pickup okay that setting even if in Fortnite settings you don't have run over pickup enabled it doesn't matter anytime you run over an item on this spawn pad it's going to pick it up no matter what and then I make the item visibility times five because it makes it bigger and sometimes you'll get shot in the left or right corner and it may not pick up the item so I think that helps that's not 100% confirmed I don't know if that helps or not but I just make it times five so Next up, you are going to want to grab the speed boost pads and the ice blocks. Now, this is also very important. You're not going to be able to just select the ice mats and throw them on top of these item spawners. It doesn't work. What you have to do is you have to actually put the ice mats on the ground and then you have to cut or copy it and then paste it on top of each item spawner. That's how it works. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a bug or that's just how it is. But anyway, just so you guys understand, that's how it works. Next up, you guys are going to want to choose what weapons that you're going to want to spawn in randomly. This is all up to you guys. You know, I'm just kind of just showing this off. I first started off with ARs, then I went to shotguns then SMGs, then health, then utility items. Again, you can add more spawn pads or less spawn pads. You can randomize mats or whatever. It's That's all up to you. All right, we pretty much got it set up. There's just a few more things we have to add. Let's go back to the items menu. Choose the pinball flapper. This pinball flapper is what we're gonna use to when you spawn in, it's going to project you into all of the items to pick up. Now what you wanna do is resize this and make it as big as possible. This step is really, really important. You gotta be very mindful where you place the flapper. If you place it right in the middle, it's gonna deactivate that spawn pad and people aren't gonna be able to spawn in just be mindful of that and make sure you test it out a bunch all right now edit the pinball flapper you are going to want to make sure you take damage knockback off and on bump knockback you put it to very high the rest of the stuff is totally up to you those are just the most important parts all right now make your enclosure again this is all totally up to you all right we're pretty much done. Now we just need to uh, test it out. Let's start the round. Uh, uh oh, what happened? We didn't pick up any of the items. Well guys, don't be scared, don't worry. I have a way to fix this. Um, this is actually, I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you, you cannot miss this step. It's pretty crucial. All right, go back to your island so we can start editing again. You're gonna want to choose the indestructible gallery. Grab the brand new floating pads. These things are awesome. 
especially for getting under the map. Now, if you didn't know how to get under the map, they added a new feature a few updates ago called phasing. It's like N on keyboard. I think it's like your left joystick. You hold it on console. I'm not sure on mobile and the rest, but anyway, you're going to want to activate phase to get through. Now, basically, when you're under the map, you're just going to want to make a little wall and platform area, and this is all about to make sense. Choose the barrier device. Put it to the square right in front of you where you would spawn in. Copy these settings. You're going to want to make the width 2 and you are going to want to make the height 2. You can make it transparent or whatever color you want. That doesn't really matter. You can make it so you don't see anything at all. Next you're going to want to grab the explosive device. Maybe you guys can kind of see where we're going with this, but get into editing the explosive device and take player damage off. You can increase the structure damage, 500 is probably good enough. Um, indestructible buildings, that doesn't really matter. Your blast radius, you're going to want to set that depending on your surroundings. Explode on proximity, this one's very important. You want it to explode once you spawn in, so you need to set that accordingly, and then proximity delay set to five seconds. Those settings are the most important, remember that. All right, let's start the game. You spawn in now, see how it's holding you for a little bit, which gives the spawn pads enough time to load in weapons, then it launches you through and you pick up all the items that is it that's how you do it guys it's pretty simple i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i am pretty sure i'm the first to do this i haven't seen anyone do anything like this just yet let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions if something's not working also write down in the comments i will try my best to help you guys out if you guys are coming here from zero your heroes video welcome i wish i could tell you i make similar content but him and vori are truly next level when it comes to making zone wars maps i dabble in all types of creative maps so check out my channel and if it's your jam then subscribe if you do not know who zero your hero or vori is you have to go check them out please visit their channels and show them some love if you guys would do me a huge favor and head over to vori's channel and subscribe let's get him to 1000 subs if you were unaware after you get a thousand subs you can apply for a creator code and then you'll be able to share your map codes trust me we want this man to be able to share his island codes so anyway guys please do me that favor thank you and that is going to do it for today's video guys I'm Immature Gamer. I'm out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And thank you for watching.